всегда к спрашиваю, что он технику. Ну, вот это So it's not like it was like one month ago. I was working as a criminal defense lawyer there in Kharkiv. So my day was full of interesting news, interesting stuff. I was, I was working. I really liked my previous life, so I didn't appreciate it. But now I understand that, bro, we need to appreciate all days that we get. So it can, it may change in one second. So I'm in a hospital. My mom works there as a nurse, so I stay basically in her uh, workplace. So we live there in one room, and we and when we hear all these noises of the missiles, we go down to basement in order to protect ourselves. So. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mikhail Kutovi. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Kharkiv. Right now I'm standing in a local area where there is no another military installation except of residential buildings, TV tower, new business centers and students' residences. And here, two steps away, stands Dovzhenka Cinema where every week I went to see a new movie with my friends and family. So I'm inside the building which was hit by a Russian rocket this night. It was a huge fire here seen from the uh, nearby areas. The spirit is high, the mood is amazing, people do not cry, even they are telling jokes, they are trying to make the mood amazing in order to, in order to stand for our peaceful life that was before the war. How do you keep your spirits up? Well, I try to work, you know, even, even in all this uh, situation that's going on around, I try to work, I get the facts, uh, lots of people send, I work in a company, in a law company there, lots of people send pictures of uh, demolished areas of their houses, flats, block of flats, uh, kindergartens and we uh, get the materials we get the, so we will provide it to the International Criminal Court and to the European Court of Human Rights so in my opinion Russian government should be liable for all the crimes committed on our land Artyom. 